me. Is this thing focused? The staircase is my studio. Okay. I feel like I need an intro song. Can somebody create like some background music or something for me? That would be really popping. I always find myself dancing. Hey guys. It's a new week. Ah. Anyway, um, let's just jump into it. So the piece for next week is... The piece for next week is called The Comfortable Christian. Now before I get into the topic of the piece, uh, let's discuss what a comfortable Christian is. Who a comfortable Christian is. So just for clarification, a person who is comfortable and a person who is lukewarm are not always the same kind of people. A comfortable person believes that they've done enough for God, believes that they've done all that there is to do in their walk with God, and so they don't feel a need to advance. They don't feel a need to move forward. Sometimes they know it and sometimes it's out of ignorance, but I believe that God is gonna shed light on that person and let them know like, hey, there's more that needs to be done in your walk. Whereas a lukewarm person is neither hot nor cold. They're neither living for God and they're neither living against God, but that is a contradiction because those who aren't living for God are living against God. Second Timothy talks about how uh, some people have a form of godliness but deny its power. And that right there is one aspect of a lukewarm person. So whether you're lukewarm or whether you're comfortable, you're still a target of the enemy and he still can use different tactics to be able to get to you and derail you in your walk or the lack thereof. Some prime examples of comfortable people in the Bible could be Peter before he developed that faith in Jesus to basically be able to defy nature and walk on water simply because his faith allowed him to believe that Jesus would do that for him. So when Peter was in his comfortable little boat, you know, he was like, I don't really feel like I need to do more until he had that faith to do more. Um, Let's bring out Moses. Moses was a stammerer. He was not someone who was eloquent in speech. He did not have faith in himself. He didn't believe that the people were gonna listen to him for that which God called him. So he was comfortable. He was comfortable in his current character. He was comfortable of where he was at in life. He was getting older. He was just trying to die, you know, not do too much. But God called him to greater. God called him to more. And he went back and forth with God because he was trying to convince God. Mind you, God knows everything. He knit us in our mother's wombs. He was trying to convince God that hey God uh, I think you got the wrong guy I'm really not the one that you need to call you need to call someone else God wanted to transform Moses he wanted to remove Moses from that place of comfort that was hindering him in his life let's bring out Jonah Jonah was another person mm, Jonah was another person who was very comfortable Jonah at the very second that God called Jonah Jonah ran away Jonah thought he could run from God so he ran and he mounted a boat trying to get to another city trying to get to another location but God was like like, yeah, you real funny. Jonah was comfortable with who he was. Jonah even feared being called to greater because he didn't believe in himself once again. Jonah wanted to stay and remain in the place in his life that he was at. He didn't want to advance. He didn't want to move on because he didn't have faith in the God who could do more for him, in the God that could call him out to do greater. And when he did, it took some unfortunate circumstances, hence the large fish that swallowed him and I hope that doesn't happen to y'all but it took that kind of a circumstance for Jonah to be able to believe that hey God is all powerful and God can transform me God can take me out of my comfort zone and if I have that mustard seed of faith in him he can grow that and he can move me to more with this piece called the comfortable Christian it's spoken from the perspective of someone who truly believes that hey I'm good in my walk. I don't need to do more. I don't need to really go out on the streets to evangelize. I don't really need to confess to the nations. I don't really need to make disciples. I pray, I go to church, I tithe or I give offering. You know, I really think that I'm doing enough that I need to do in this walk with God. And the Bible says that Faith without works is dead. The Bible also says that by their fruits, they shall know, you shall know. <laughs> Second Corinthians 13, five calls us to examine ourselves, to test ourselves, to see whether we are in the faith. And if we pass the test, then Christ Jesus is, is within us. Unless we don't have faith that Christ Jesus is within us, then we shall fail. God wants to do so much more in our lives for us. God cannot wait to unleash all the signs and wonders that are meant to follow us in this walk. But we can't do that if we think we're in a place of comfort. We can't 
can't do that unless we allow Jesus to call us out into the water. When Peter acknowledged that Jesus was the one on the water, he said, Lord, if this is you, call me out into the water. Peter had a heart of preparation because he knew that if this was Jesus, he knew that he could do more. And we cannot be called out into the water. We cannot leave our boat if we are enjoying our place of comfort. All it starts with is a desire. All it starts with is a little spark, a mustard seed of faith that you know that God can grow you, God can advance you in this walk. So I really believe that um, this piece is gonna encourage a lot of people and really allow you to examine, to assess yourself. And I know that this is an opportunity that God wants to use to be able to grow you. There is a lot more to this walk than where you are right now. There's so much more that God wants to show you. Um, so I'm really excited for this piece. I know that God wants to do a lot, so I love you guys. I'm excited for what God's about to do. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can ask me on any of my social networks or message me on here. This is going to be a good time. So um, once again, I love you guys, and I can't wait till next week. All right, bye.